Oh, I'm uh, Dr. Arnold Trickstein, and I'm the senior author on uh, the paper we want to highlight in this video. Uh, it has to do with the role of sonic hedgehog in the formation of a cortical microcircuit. And I wanted to introduce the postdoc who did most of the work, Corey Harwell, and it's uh, most appropriate for him to actually outline uh, the results. Hi, I'm Corey Harwell, and I'm a postdoc here in the Kriegstein lab in the Eli and Edith Grove Institute of Regeneration Medicine and Stem Cell Research here at UCSF. In a study we published in Neuron, we described a new role for sonic hedgehog in cortical circuit development. The mammalian cerebral cortex is one of the most complex network structures of the entire nervous system and is responsible for high-level perceptual and cognitive functions. And to perform many of these tasks, a high degree of specificity is required during the establishment of neuronal connections. The cortex is organized into six layers with cells in each layer making stereotype patterns of connections. Cells in layer 2-3 make intercortical connections onto each other and connections primarily onto neurons located in layer 5. Layer 4 cells receive inputs from the thalamus and connect onto cells in layer 2-3 primarily. Layer 5 can be divided into two sublayers, with layer 5A making intercortical connections and layer 5B projecting to subcortical structures. And finally, layer six neurons primarily project to the thalamus. Using a combination of genetic reporter mice, we found that sonic hedgehog was expressed in the postnatal cortex, primarily in populations of subcortical projection neurons, located in layers 5B and 6, while a receptor for sonic hedgehog called Bach is expressed in populations of local and colossal projection neurons. This complementary pattern of expression between sonic hedgehog and its receptor represents a potential mechanism for achieving synapse specificity between layer 2-3 to layer 5 connections. So we were able to test this hypothesis by utilizing the Golgi staining method to look at dendritic growth and spine density in the brains of our sonic hedgehog conditional knockouts as well as the Bach readers. And what we found was that there was a significant reduction growth and spine density in the layer 5 neurons of our mutants, while there was no significant change in growth or density in the layer 2-3 neurons when we compared them to the controls. We were able to test for changes in presynaptic inputs by using a utero electroporation of synaptophysin GFP, a marker for active presynaptic terminals, into layer 2-3 neurons of the cerebral cortex. Finally, we were able to test for changes in functional connections between layer 2, 3, and 5. This time by electroporating channelrhodopsin 2 and performing channelrhodopsin assisted circuit mapping, where we found a significant reduction in connectivity between layer 2, 3 to layer 5 connections. While normal layer 2, 3 to 2, 3 connectivity did not change in our mutants. Identifying the molecules required for synaptic specificity will be key to our understanding the mechanisms regulating the construction of cortical circuitry. Our work here highlights sonic hedgehog signaling as one of many likely molecules and pathways required for the establishment of cortical circuits.